The Sunrise K series is our vertical, vertical design machine. This machine is 66 tons, but all the tonnage moves directly up and down. So that means you have 66 tons on the punch, you have a dedicated area for doing all of your shearing, and then you have another dedicated area for all of your notching as well. Shearing capability on this machine is four by four by three eighths, a really nice 14 inch flat bar shear, and then you have these solid round and square bar openings as well for any of your solid stock. This section is also removable and you can put in other items, Unistrut, I-beam, channel, those are all available options for shearing on this style machine. When the K-Series, because it's vertical, we can add other options, such as the hydraulic hold down that's standard on this machine as well. Gauge table, work light, hydraulic hold down, and LED and back gauge are all standard features on this model. We also feature the swing away stripper on this machine. The swing away stripper is oversized and really allows you to have a lot of different options and process a lot of different material. Flat bar, angle, channel, can really all be processed with this setup. And because it's vertical, there's no pivoting, there's no twisting or torquing, and the only maintenance that you need to do is lubricate the slide as it moves up and down. I'm going to talk about the build of the 66K and we're going to show you the backside uh, of this machine as well. So the backside of the K series features our 40 inch electric back gauge. The back gauge will calibrate to any of your shearing stations as well. Adjustable stroke and a frame that is made of two pieces of solid steel with an internal slide in the cylinder is located up here. We can adjust the stroke nice and quick, so that if you're doing a shorter stroke, press break operations, you're quickly able to do that as well. On this machine, this is a 66 ton punch, up to an inch and a half standard capacity, up to four inches is optional. Front of the gauge table does remove. With our structural die block, that'll allow you to put a piece of angle and punch leg down. That'll also allow us to do flat bar. We do have different die blocks for channel. But if I slide that angle in there, I have adjustable guide bars and gauges on either side. And I can come down and punch that hole out. And if I had a clip, I could just move it along to my preset positions and just nice and easily process that angle clip. All of the tooling on the punch station of all the Sunrise Iron Workers, and most importantly this one, is quick change. The die itself removes with a small pin, and the punch, we just use a spanner wrench, and can twist that sleeve and the punch falls right out. We do give you interchangeable sleeves, and you get up to that inch and a half round capacity as standard. Line it back up here, rotate it until it's tight. We'll use a spanner wrench, and just hand tight is all it needs. And then we can go ahead and close the stripper cover there. On this machine, we also have all of the hydraulic hold downs that are available. So if we take that piece of angle, for example, we load it in our machine, the hydraulic hold down will come down and clamp the angle first and then shear it. This is especially useful if you have a long stick, 20 foot of angle or flat bar that you wanna slide in there and then hit that electric back gauge. Every time you hit that electric back gauge, the hydraulic hold down comes down clamps your material, and then shears it cleanly. And there's our cut through both legs of the angle at the same time. Even, uneven leg angle, doesn't matter. It's gonna shear it nice and clean. No slug loss means you're not losing any material like some other brands, where if you wanna have two foot clips, 
you have to count in that slug. This does not take any slug uh, at all. Flat bar shear on the machine as well features that hydraulic hold down. Alignment bars on the side, put some roller tables in the front and use that electric back gauge as well and now you're slotting in all of your flat plate to process. You'll watch that hydraulic hold down come down, clamp the material, shear comes down, clamp comes up, and then a nice clean shear. Adjustable blade gap for the plate shear as well allows you to do up to that 9 16th thick material on this machine or down to gauge material as well. This machine also features a rectangular notcher. The rectangular notcher is standard on this machine, has a nice gauge table as well. So if you're going in there with a piece of angle, flat bar, multi-sided blades, and then that top blade as well, help go right into the fillet of a piece of angle. You might also want to take the, the corners of your material off or of your, of your flat plate, so you can go in there and do that, or use these gauge bars to slide it in and take out just a little bit of the notcher. We can go straight in with our angle and just notch out whatever we would like. And now I can use that and align that to any other material for making a box or a frame just like that.